Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, coming at you from San Jose, California. It's Sunday Night Crude here. And coming down right now, one of the six brand new wrestlers for the HWA, Fuzz Pegman. And he is a bad mamma jamma. He's a bad mother. What's your now? No, sorry. <laughs> yes, uh, we don't have any clips to show you from past week, so uh, let's go ahead and show you his audition clip. He was wrestling the next wrestler coming up here, and uh, he's going to show you the battering ram and the evidence plant. So let's have a look at that. Buzz Pigman from the Chicago Police Department. And uh, I'll tell you maybe a little later why he is no longer with them. It had something to do with him using the phrase, uh, shoot first and ask questions later. Well, he really took that to heart, apparently. And now coming down is Redneck Rufus. Yes, the head-banging country boy. Good old boy. Uh, mm, smell that? It's his daughter. It's on his fingers. Yeah, yeah sorry. <laughs> had to go for that one. That uh, we're going to show you his. You've just seen wrestling Fuzz Pigman, and uh, let's show you his finisher moves. He's got the Moonshiner and the Cousin Kiss. So let's have a look at that. That's right, Redneck Rufus. A showboat. He's got more, more bulk than brains, I can tell you that much. It's, that's what six generations of inbreeding will get you, but that's you know, just the way some people are. So, Pigman ready. Rufus ready. And let's get it on. Oh, Pigman jumping right away, taking the first advantage. Pounding fist to the head. And you might be noticing that uh, I think our cameraman finally... Got off the Thorazine is going to give us some different views. So, st with stomps to the back. Pigman now, picking Rufus up. And Rufus slaps him away, gives him a j jab, jab to the gut. And now, oh, going for a suplex, but a knee right to the head. Hitting that mullet square. <laughs> and <laughs> he won't let him get any moves off, just punches him to the ribs right there. Now, Pigman picks him up, and a big old body slam. Pigman now. Sitting back, getting ready for something early here. This could be the battering ram. Oh, it is! Took advantage of that quick. This might be a quick match, folks. Going for the pin. I don't think he's got that much out of him yet. One, two, three! Fuzz Pigman with the win right off the bat. Put sticking it to Redneck Rufus. Let's see it again. There's not much to see again. As you see, the battering ram there. Just nailed him and took the wind right out of him. I couldn't get up. So another view. Oh, no wonder he couldn't get up. That's that's rough. So right there. Wow. How many? This has got to be the shortest match in HWA history. Went for the pin. I hope they slow it down because we got to use up some time here. One, two, and three. That was it, folks. That was a quick match. Oh, man, I tell you, Fuzz Pigman is just. A no nonsense, taking no shit, but taking names and kicking ass right away here in the HWA. Uh, the, the, the veterans have some competition coming up here with him. Wow. So I could just, <laughs> just, I don't, I don't even have time to go away for get a drink or anything. So, well, there he is, Fuss Pigman, right off the bat there in the newcomer match. Your victor, right here. So, we still have got some action coming up. Hopefully, all the matches aren't that quick. This is going to be like a, more of a trailer than a, a show. <laughs> oh well, we'll see how it happens. Anyway, we got to get, we got more lots more matches coming up, and this is the Animal Network reminding you always wear a condom. Be right back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Sunday Night Crew coming at you from Sacramento, California. This time it is the Fatal Four Way Over the Top match, uh, similar to a battle royal. Coming down right now is Nature. And we saw him two weeks ago on Crude. He, uh, did he win? He won the television title. Yes, on Boston. We've seen this clip before, but we're going to show it to you again. 
because it's uh, one of the few redeeming factors he has, actually. Pulled a German suplex on Boston to win the television title. Let's have a look at that. And now, uh oh, the finisher, the typical HWA finisher stance. What do we got coming up here? Oh, German suplex. That might do it, folks. That might do it. He's pin one, two, three. Nature wins the HWA television title. There he is, folks. The Nature Boy. Woo! Well, not really, but uh, he likes to think he is. Coming down right now is going to be who we come, who we got coming down now. Oh, I'll tell you who we got coming down now. The man who took nature's belt away. There it is right there. The television title champion, Pedro X. And uh, we just got to see this past week on Beatdown. He did win the television title from nature. He pulled the octogenarian on him, and uh, nature couldn't help it. He had to submit. He just too, too painful there from the old guy. Let's have a look at it. Now, Pedro X with a clobbering back to the face. Pedro X smash. Oh, here goes for the, the octogenarian again. Is he going to submit? Will he do it? Nature not giving up. He says, you can't have my title, you old man. So says, no. Oh, he does. Pedro X has won. He has given up. He just couldn't take it anymore. Nature loses. That's right, folks. Pedro X. He is old, but he is good. It's like a fine wine. Just keeps getting better with age, I guess. No, that wasn't a sexual comment either. I'm sorry. No one might have sounded like that. Here comes the next competitor. It's Boston. It's Baston, as he likes to call himself. He, he's adopted a, a New England accent very well if you hear him, if you listen to him speak. But uh, two weeks ago, we saw him on Beatdown in the six-man battle royal. And uh, Sabu put a little trickery on him there. He, uh, he, he went to close Lance Sabu out of the match or out of the ring, just like the other battle royal is like this one. And uh, he psyched him out. He's got to just... Did a backflip on him and right out of the ring. So let's have a look at that. The strategy is just to get tied up with your partner and uh, kind of fake beat on each other while everybody else destroys them. And then they get out of the ring. And that's just you and your partner. I don't know if that's what the plan entailed here. Oh, Sabu just flipped Boston out of the ring. He says, that's for taking my belt, motherfucker. Yeah. So there he is, folks. Boston, much more confident than... Uh, he was before. He's, he, he's not going to fall for any crap this time. He, he made very clear, uh, though he said he's not going to fall for any crap. Uh, that was more of a, a Minnesota thing. I don't know why he's mixing his, his localities up, but uh, right now, here comes the Godfather. And where's the sneer? There's the sneer. Ah, there it is. I got to see it. Still hate him, but I love that sneer. We saw him uh, this past week also on Beatdown. Only he was in the first ever First Blood match, and uh, he was against Boston. He pulled the Chrome Dome on him and split Boston wide open. Didn't see any blood on the broadcast. Uh, apparently the cameraman was not doing so well that day. But uh, let's have a look at it anyway. What's Godfather's got for him this time? Well, it looks like, looks like Boston's a little tired there. So now, oh, he's setting him up on the rope here. Uh-oh. I think I see what's coming. It's the Chrome Dome. Booyah! And the Godfather wins! The Godfather has busted Boston open! And there you have it, folks. There's your four. Let's see him again. There's Nature. And Pedro X. Boston, of course. And the Godfather. And it is time for the over-the-top match. And here they go. And it's finally Boston picks up Nature. <laughs> said there's some there's some pre <laughs> posturing there. Um, just <laughs> Boston said, "Hey, what are you doing? I gotta, I'm gonna I'm fighting this guy and I'm gonna beat you up." So Boston trying to put the Godfather over real quick. Pedro Rex just trying to stomp a hole into nature. Oh, a knee to the back there, and the Godfather finally elbows his way out of that. And Boston goes for a swing, misses, and Godfather punches and kicks Boston. Uh, more punches. Now uh, Pedro X picking up nature. Nature nature blocks and. Guts Pedro X right there. Got a body slam. Is he going to put him? Oh, no, he's not going to put him over. Just slams him straight up. And now they switch, and Boston's working on Pedro X. Oh, and Nature picks Pedro. Uh, Nature picks Boston up. Oh, but not before he gets a, a drilling head to the bat. <clears throat> Pedro X now has Boston. And 
He sets him up with the over the top and Boston's out again. Ah, uh, this time it was just a straight up uh, close landing there. And Boston's out. It's, it's just not very good at this. So you got to face it, folks. Oh, Pedro acts with a fist, massive fist to, to Godfather. And Nature's over there just hiding under the bottom rope. Hiding, and you see somebody up front there saying, You suck, Nature. Get up and do something, you douchebag. And so he gets up, but he's still not doing anything. Oh, that was a German suplex by Godfather. Godfather now out with Nature. And Pedro X is going to take a nap. He needs his naps with his age. And now, uh oh, oh, land in the face right on the mat. Nature puts the Godfather. Now the Godfather up again. And an arm drag for the Godfather on Nature. Oh, Pedro X took a swing at Godfather, but he didn't seem to notice. <laughs> so he says, I'm going to stand here. I'll wait till you're not busy. And finally, he got him and he picks him up. What's he going to do with him, folks? He's going to drop him on the rope. No, he's just going to try to throw him right over the ropes. Godfather struggling. Nature on the side, not doing anything. Uh-oh, Pedro X. Oh, he gets a fist to the back after Godfather breaks loose. And now Godfather with a whip suplex. Pedro X taking a, a hurting on the back. <clears throat> Pedro X now up. Oh, Pedro, Godfather tried to take a swing at both of them, hit Pedro X. And now Nature's just kicking his ass. Uh-oh, but a reversal. Oh, Godfather with a neck breaker. Pedro X not too bright. Standing up on the second rope, he could easily get knocked over. But he adjusts his, his truss. And hopefully he's ready for a little more fight. Oh, finally. Godfather goes with Pedro X. Pedro X now. Pedro X kicking Godfather. Pedro X now with Godfather. And he's going to take him to the take him to, to the woodshed there. <laughs> and bounces him off the turnbuckle. And he starts to try to pick Godfather up. Godfather's standing there. Nature's not helping. Nature's beating his chest. He thinks he's King Kong. Finally, Godfather elbows. Pedro X and <laughs> Nature will come right in and start picking on. But <laughs> Pedro X whips Nature with the elbow. Oh, but he didn't get the elbow on. Now, picked up. Oh, gets a face slam by Nature. Godfather's taking a breather. I think he's ready now. Oh, now he's just going to sit there and, and strut, like, standing still. I don't know. That didn't make any sense. That's okay. <laughs> it's all right, folks. It's Friday. <laughs> yeah, it's, well, I'm pre-recording. Shh. It's supposed to be live. Don't tell anyone. Okay, now. <laughs> Nature. Picking uh, the Pedro X, trying to pick him up over the over the rope, and that, he's got that one foot firmly planted, and he's planted his elbow right in the, Nature's forehead. Oh, now with a neck whip down to the mat, and Pedro X will ignore Godfather's pleas for attention, and picks up Nature, body slam on Nature. Nature's got to be getting tired. Oh, the Godfather went up <laughs> while he was showing off. Pedro X just grabbed him and threw him over. Wow, that was a good heads-up play by Pedro X. Now, Pedro X has nature with a German suplex. Very nice one, too. And now he's picking nature up again. Oh, and chin, chin to the head there. That'll knock your dentures out. Oh, and a reversal. He says, if you can do that, I can do it too, bitch. And now belly-to-belly -belly suplex on nature. Pedro X in full control. Godfather in full relaxed mode. Now nature's down. I don't see him getting up, but he's getting up now. Oh, Nature was playing possum there. Oh, somebody, somebody get Rufus on the line. It's dinner. And finally, Godfather steps in. Pedro X is going to roll around for a while and take a nap. Oh, Godfather close lines. Nature over, and it is just Pedro X. <laughs> it's no longer napping because the Godfather grabbed him. So, Al Richardson's wrestlers have been very good at this, uh, ro this uh, battle royal thing. And he's got one in there right now. Will the Godfather live up to the Big Sid era? Or will Pedro X take a win now for his, uh, his victory for the te television title? Now, oh, back brain buster for Godfather on Pedro X. Picks him up now. Whips him to the turnbuckle. And Godfather's with a chop. Oh, but Pedro X gets a chop back. And now punches are being exchanged. Uh oh, uh, got a back roll by Pedro X on Godfather, and Godfather is picked up again. Now, gets him in a neck whip down to the mat, and picking him up again for something else. Oh, but Pedro X gets tripped up by Godfather. Godfather now has Pedro X, and he's gonna whip him under the turnbuckle. Punches, the, oh, goes for the punch and gets the block, then a kick to the abdomen. Now, Godfather getting picked up and slammed by Pedro X. That is a strong 103-year-old, folks. 
One of the toughest in the world. Probably the toughest. Now, Godfather getting whipped to the rope. Pedrex just <laughs> beaning them with a punch. And Godfather punches back. Picks up Pedrex and, oh, a slam for himself. Now Godfather up again. I noticed the cameraman is uh, not doing anything. Maybe he doesn't do anything during the uh, battle row because there's too much to follow. I can understand that, but they're kind of like just themselves now. Cameraman? Hello? I think he fell asleep. It's, uh, Godfather didn't fall asleep. He just got punched. Oh! Neck whip by Pedro X. And stomping on the leg. Stomping the knee. You get those knees weak, it might be able to uproot him and throw him over the rope. And he gets a roll. Pedro X getting taken by Godfather up. And we're going to have a German suplex by uh, Godfather. <laughs> Almost a big Sid. Now, Godfather. Oh, Godfather goes for something. Just a clap of the ears there. Those big ass ears of his took a like a cymbal crash. I like that. Can I call that a cymbal crash? And now Pedro X has him lined up. Close lines over the rope, and Godfather cannot live up to Big Sid. Pedro X is the winner. Let's have a look at it again here. Four men in, one man standing. Oh, that was a elbow to the back. Oh, God damn, that looked painful. And then uh, the finishing move there. It's the clothesline. That's, that's how they've been leaving the, the ring. Pedro X. Victor. Television title champion. Now over the top winner. He's, he's living large, folks, and he's loving it. Right there. Coming up now, we have the Tag Team Championship. As you remember, Captain and uh, Godfather took that. And uh, we've gotten some, uh, some new things going on there. From now on, they're going to come down together. And uh, they have new names. So we're going to be facing... Uh, the Fleet of Pain is the captain's team with Concrete, and uh, they're going to be going up against the Swishy Cats, which is Fritzy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Fritzy and El Loco. <laughs> I can't go on. Let's go ahead and cut away. This is the Anal Network reminding you always wear a condom, and we'll be right back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, coming at you from Biloxi, Mississippi, which is very near where uh, Redneck Rufus is from. Coming down now, we have the Swishy Cats with Coach Aaron Varhola. As you notice, uh, El Loco seems to have gotten a little bit effeminate, and uh, uh, maybe that just happens when you're hanging around with Fritzy. Or it could be the Magenta Tights, I don't know. You can pick either way. But right now, let's have a look uh, at what happened before with uh, let's see who we're going to look at let's have a look at El Loco here he uh, got, took on took a Liberty Bomb by Sabu in the Handicap Tornado match let's look at that real quick he had him in the uh, in the Muy Bueno or no, not Muy Bueno Muy Caliente making Pedro X feel the burn but Sabu came along and broke that up now I think we just saw a power I think we just saw the Liberty Bomb there Goes for the pin. This could be it, folks. One, two, three. Yes, that was. Okay, I'm, I'm reviewing the, the video now. It was the Liberty Bomb. So that was El Loco. And uh, now we're going to look at the uh, Fritzy. He was in the, this past week on Crude for the Inner Horseman title. Performed the coal, Cornhole on Boston to retain that belt that you see right there. Let's have a look at it. We've seen this before, folks. No, we haven't. Oh, he's going for it again. The cornhole. Flips him. Has him. Oh, pounding suplex. Aaron thrilled. I think Fritzy, if he can get a pin, if he can get a flip him over and pin him. Here it is. One, two, three. That's it, folks. Fritzy retaining the inner horseman title. Fritzy and El Loco. The swishy cats. And they are swishy. <laughs> Coming down now, it's going to be the tag team champions. Crowd's sitting stirred up. They're taking their time coming down. They want to, oh, there they are. They wanted to absorb it. No, you, you're the man. No, you're the man. That's right. It is the captain and concrete. They are the fleet of pain. And they didn't show it, but that's okay. That's what they are. And they're, they're accompanied by Keys Carranza coming down. Let's see what happened uh, with Concrete this past week on Crude. The tag team title match did a headstone on the Godfather. Have a look at it. Concrete after a sledgehammer. Now he's going for his other move. Oh, and there 
it is, folks. There it is. <laughs> You'll have to pardon me. I have seemed to have forgotten the move. <laughs> Doesn't matter, though. The name, what's a, a Rose Band, any other name? Here's a pin. One, two, three. The Godfather and the Captain win. I'm the Godfather, Cat. The Concrete and the Captain win. That's concrete there for you. Now, uh, the captain, we got a little, let's, let's see something he did two weeks ago on Beatdown. Uh, lost, uh, he got a, he got a Bueno bomb by El Loco, and, uh, the world championship slipped out of his hands. Oh, wait a second, is that right? Huh. I don't know, let's, let's have a look at the clip. Not before he felt the burn, I can guarantee you that. Now another finishing move by El Loco. Here it comes. It's the, it's the Bueno bomb. Oh, yeah. Nailed the captain. It looks like he still might have some energy, but I don't know, folks. A loco going for a pin. Captain. One, two, three. Oh no! Captain just didn't have enough to rejuvenate himself there. So there you have it, folks. Here are your tag team champions defending their title for the first time. There it is, folks. The HWA Tag Team Championship belt. And uh I'm not sure what happened there. I must have misplaced my notes with uh, something something else. I think it was a uh, some girl's phone number. But uh, oh, sorry, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, that's uh, there. You have it, folks. Fritzy and El Loco versus the Captain and Concrete Fleet of Pain versus the Swishy Cats. Let's get it on. Captain with El Loco and a suplex. Captain taking the advantage early here with a kick to the back. El Loco. Now, Captain has him up, and oh, gets a roll by El Loco. El Loco now, jumping right on. <laughs> Gotta be careful where he jumps anymore. Big arm lift there, and stepping back. Oh, he's uh, he's going out to the mat. Oh, he's getting a baseball bat. Okay, apparently this. Oh, didn't get a chance to use it. Captain now pounding on El Loco. And uh, I didn't know this was Extreme Rules, but uh, there is no DQ, so I guess use them if you got them. <laughs> now, Concrete up. Concrete. Oh, tag team move. Big slam. My Concrete flies. And now stomping on El Loco. Not going to let him get to Fritzy there for a tag. More, more stomps to the back. El Loco should be used to being double tagged, double teamed, after that uh, one handicap match where Nature went off and took a powder with Fr Ric Flair. Now Concrete with a suplex. Slamming the feet off the turnbuckles on the way. Down now. Concrete. Concrete getting up. He's taunting El Loco. If El Loco's smart, he'll go for the tag. I'm not sure he knows where he is right now. He looks a little dizzy. Concrete. Oh, missed with the, the double hands of stone. And now, getting some fists himself. El Loco on. Concrete. Picks Concrete up. He says he doesn't need Fritzy yet. And now. Uh-oh. Whips him to the yep, the opposing turnbuckle. Oh, and goes for the tag. Does he go for the tag? Yes, he does. And, uh-oh, something's coming up here. Oh, a team move there. Big arm drop after being tripped up by a loco and Concrete's in a little bit of trouble here. Concrete's up again. Oh, but that big head goes right to the chin. <laughs> Punch from hell. Christ. Almost knocked him through the ropes with that one. Concrete, now. Coming around, sizing him up, seeing what he's going to do next. He's got a baseball bat to, or oh, just going to tag the captain. Says, "Here, why don't you have some? Have some of Fritzy's uh, Fritziness, I guess." Hmm. <laughs> and now gets a, a block for a suplex, and Fritzy punches. And now Fritzy with a close line on the captain, puts him down, picks up the baseball bat. Oh, this could be trouble, folks. Oh, the baseball bat right to the captain's back. That'll knock the wind out of you. And another bat to the back. Come on, ref. Do something, will you? Just pounding that the, the coccyx area there. Yes, I say coccyx. And Fritzy got all excited. He thought I was saying something else. So, gets whipped to the turnbuckle. Captain now. Oh, Captain with a reverse. Picks Fritzy up, but a reversal again. Oh, back brain buster on the mat. And Fritzy says, get up. Oh, I think he's taunting him. We might see. I mean, as you remember, Fritzy actually won the Inner Horseman title from the captain uh, on our very first week. So now he's captain's looking for some revenge here with a punch to the face. Captain with a belly-belly suplex. Oh, got him. 
El Loco is saying Arriba, Arriba, McIntyre, Undele, Undele, Yeehaw. Thinks he's Pepe Le Pew. Pepe Le Pew. <laughs> I fucked that one up, didn't I? Speedy Gonzalez, you know what I'm saying. So now, Fritzy with a offensive. He's going to drop the captain on the rope, on the turnbuckle. I can't decide. Oh, finally chooses the turnbuckle. And the captain goes down. I can't believe captain's getting up even but after those powder shots to the back. Blatant cheating by Fritzy. So Fritzy has him whipped now. What's he going to do? Oh, he's setting him up for the cornhole. Oh, he, can't, he tried to grab the ropes. Can't do it. Oh, captain's down. Oh, my. Fritzy could go for the pin here and, and lose a bow, but he stomps him to the head. The titles may change chance here, folks, if, can't, if captain can't get out and get a tag. So, uh-oh. He gets stomped. We know what's coming next. It's the forced blowjob. Oh, God, the can't... Oh, the humanity. Oh, that nasty, clap-infested cock right in his face. You know it's clap-infested. Come on. Uh, and he flips him over. This could be it, folks. The ref's down. Up. Oh, here comes Concrete. Oh, Concrete coming in, breaking up the tag. Or breaking up the pin. <laughs> he, gets, he gets back to this. Uh, back brain buster by El Loco. Captain is down. He's not. Oh, he's, he's finally moving. I thought he was dead. Captain's very delirious right now. He's, uh, you know him. He's, he might be trying to take advantage here, but. Oh. Leg drop will get him moving, I'm sure. And now Fritzy. Going for the tag for El Loco. El Loco coming in. We might see a tag, a tag move here. Oh, no. Fred, uh, El Loco's just going to pick Captain up. Aaron Varhola, very, very excited, but punched by the captain to the gut there. Oh, Captain goes for a clothesline, gets flipped over the mat. And we're going outside, apparently. Here comes El Loco. No, he's just going to stand there. He's Who's he signaling to, the ref? What an idiot. All right, so he finally comes around. After <laughs> he saw a ghost or something, a, a ghost of his mother or whatever, I don't know. But uh, belly to belly suplex. And he's leaving the captain there. Oh, no, he decides to come back down for some more. Now, stomping on the captain. And more boots. No, oh, and he dropped to the back there. It's hard to see. The cameraman was apparently drunk again, so we're not going to see a whole lot of action down there, but. Picks him up. Oh, finally sends Captain back into the ring. He rolls in. Captain crawling for the tag. And he gets flipped. Uh, he's going to... Oh, land the leg right on the knee. The captain is hurting. Captain is hurting for certain. He needs to get to a tag. Oh, punch square in the face. You can see Key is just cringing. Oh, German suplex there. Concrete trying to get a tag. And his captain is just getting stomped on now. Oh, uh-oh. It's, it's the muy caliente. Captain's feeling the burn. Will he submit? I don't know, folks. It's, it's the punishment he's taken so far. I wouldn't be surprised. He's not giving up, folks. He's hanging tough. And so, El Loco gives up one, and he has to. The captain, just tough, tough player. Tough uh, wrestler, sorry, player, whatever. Something like that. It's uh, the world's old stage, and everybody's players, or something like that. But Captain now. Captain seems to be a little getting some control back. Whipping El Loco. Uh oh. Oh, face smash. After a little groggy El Loco stumbling. Go for the tag, Captain. Don't be a hero. And he does. Finally, Concrete coming in. Concrete now. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> just, just teasing you. Uh, so, Concrete now. Oh, Concrete with a leg drop on El Loco. Concrete now with a stomp to the arm. Oh, wow. Right on the bicep. Captain now picking up, or not Concrete now picking up a loco who gives him an elbow for his troubles. And, uh oh, it's the Bueno Bomb on Concrete. Oh, nailed him, and that baseball bat's still there. So, El Loco going for the pin. El Loco, one, two. Oh, no. Concrete stole us a lot of strength, kicks out. Loco now trying to figure out what he wants to do next. He's running out of moves. It's moonwalking. Oh, no, he's going to give Fritzy a turn. So Fritzy comes in. Concrete's still laying there, resting. Oh, <laughs> that'll get him up. It's this wake-up motherfucker. And leg drop ball oh, right across his chest. Stomp to the arm. Fritzy now. 
with those curly fr curly fries are flying. Oh, concrete uh, says you have an arm drag, Fritzy. And now that's Fritzy up. Uh oh, but the reversal and a back brain buster there. Backward DDT, whatever you like to call it. That's just hurts. And now a leg lock. And oh, oh is gonna give was gonna give him the elbows, but concrete's flipping him over. He's flipping Fritzy over and doing him dry. <laughs> I wonder if he loves it. Probably does. Yeah, neck breaker there by Concrete. And now stomping on the chest and the arm. Picking Fritzy up. Captain's starting to get some juice back. Maybe he'll go for a tag, but just punches Fritzy right now. And a suplex. Oh, the suplex blocked. Punch to the gut. And now Fritzy will pick Concrete up, but Concrete reverses. And we got a backward brain DDT right there again. Concrete now. Oh, these wrestlers got to be getting tired. This is a long one. It's making up for that damn first match that lasted two seconds. Now, concrete reverse. Uh, he gets a reverse. Oh, gets DDT'd with legs flying up in the air. And now, is Fritzy go for a tag or is he just going to have some more fun? I don't know. Concrete's in the position for Fritzy to have fun, as you know. Concrete now crawling away to the captain trying to get a tag, but he gets stomped on by Fritzy. Fritzy now has him up. Has him up. What's he going to do to him? Looks like he's going to drop him on something. Oh, he's dropping him on the top rope. Oh, ouch. And Concrete down. Needing a tag desperately. Concrete gets flipped over. And, oh, goes for that, that hamstring stretch. Or maybe it's the, the anterior cruciate ligament. Something like that. I don't know. Concrete saying, hey, help a brother out, will you? Oh, finally kicks Fritzy off. And... He'll pick Fritzy up instead of going for the tag. Not too smart there, Concrete. Of course, you know, Concrete does uh, you know, IQ of, well, his boot size, coincidentally. Now, the suplex on Fritzy. Concrete now. What's he going? He's going back. Uh-oh. Concrete signaling something. What's he going to be? What's it going to be? What'll it be? Stomps on the arm. Picking Fritzy up now. He's got, a, he's got a repertoire, but that, well, that that didn't help. Concrete now getting picked up by Fritzy. Fritzy now sending him to the turnbuckle again. This could be a problem. Uh oh, here it comes, folks. The cornhole. He's cornholing. Concrete flips him over and a pow! Booyah slam. <laughs> uh, that's the booyah slam. I'll call it that. Now picking him up again. Doesn't go for the pin. Very strange. If they want to win the tag team title, they need to be a little, a little smarter. So now, stomping him to the, to the turnbuckle. I thought he was going to go for a face fuck, or otherwise known as a forced blowjob. Uh-oh, now he's got him dangling. Looks like I see a boot coming in his direction. Oh, boots to the head. Concrete now. That might be it, folks. I've seen matches end on that move. So he goes for the pin. One. Is this a title change? Two. Three! No, two! Sorry! <laughs> Spoke too soon! Wow, Concrete must have just gotten out of that. Must have been a bad angle. Fritzy now letting that Loco come in and do some damage. Some good ta- Oh, boot to the face! Concrete now. That's a long match. This is good. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. Drink it profusely. As El Loco. Now, oh, El Loco gets a flip. Concrete's in the right place for a tag, but will it get it? No, El Loco will pick him up. Hello, oh, Concrete with a block and a fist to El Loco. Picking El Loco up. I think it doesn't look like he's strong enough there. He it finally has to drop him. And he gets his face nailed to the mat. <clears throat> Concrete now picked up again by El Loco. El Loco. Whipping him to the to the opposite turnbuckle there, and he could be in trouble. Oh, with a boot. The headbutt. Punch to the head. Concrete now. Oh, Concrete is gonna have those boots again. I don't know if he's going to be able to get up after this, folks. Concrete needed to go for the tag, and he couldn't do it. Boots to the head. Rolls. He's down. I don't know, folks. This does not look good for Concrete and the captain. The Swishy Cats might have the title. Here's one. Two. Three. There it is, folks. The Swishy Cat have won the Tag Team Championship. Let's have a look at it again. Uh, hate to see that. There's that nasty cock. Just getting rammed in his face. Disgusting. What a pig. And then, of course, uh, the, El Ca the Muy Caliente uh, didn't. Man, Captain was tough there. Really tough. But uh, not tough enough to, to win the match or get a tag. And then here was the 
the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Bueno Bomb, of course. And then it's just the concrete just took damage all over. There was the cornhole. <clears throat> and then here's here's what finished him, folks. Those two big boots to the head, and you just can't get... He, he did it once, but you can't do it twice. That's just too much. So here we go. Let's see him, the Swishy Cats. Yeah, yeah, you won the title. Big fucking deal. I'm going to be expressing some personal views against the wrestlers here tonight. And there we go. Yes, yes, you won. The Swishy Cats. Aaron Varhola is very happy. Good for him. <laughs> so they go to the turnbuckles and show off. Meanwhile, I'm going to talk about something else because I don't feel like talking about these guys. Assholes. <laughs> Coming up next is going to be the Hell in a Cell match with Sabu and Big Sid. Two very, very much rivals. Big Sid does well inside caged environments, as we, we may see. But uh, Sabu has lost... The, uh, no, Sabu has the title. He's the world champion. Are you kidding me? And uh, we're going to see. Well, there's a lot, lot, still a lot of action to see. I'm going to cut away here because I'm getting the signal. And uh, this is the Animal Network reminding you, always wear a condom. Be right back after this. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Albuquerque, New Mexico. This is the home of the great blue meth. <laughs> so glad to be here. One of my favorite stadiums here. I think they did, did this one a little bit better. Maybe because all the people were on meth. There you go, folks. Here is the HWA World Champion Sabu. About to put his skills to the test against Big Sid in the Hell in a Cell. We saw Sabu this past week on Beatdown winning the World Championship on El, off of El Loco from the Liberty Bomb. Let's have a look at it. Gently rolling in, not trying to waste too much energy. Oh, he's in a stance. What's it going to be? He goes for the kick. Bounces him off the rope. There it is, folks. The Liberty Bomb. And he's going to go for the cover as he should. One, two. Will this be a title change? Three! Sabu has done it. So Sabu, his first Horseman World Championship title. He's going to be defending that pretty soon. So you want to look for that match, but uh, we're getting ready to see Big Sid coming down. While he's doing that, let me, uh, oh, never, not too late. <laughs> we'll get to that later. I'll tell you that at the end of the show. And as the green lights hit, here comes Big Sid. Not to be confused with Sid Haig, who's also pretty big. But Big Sid, this, uh, this past week on Beatdown, had a triple threat match. And he pulled the Bitch Breaker, <laughs> a great name for his, uh, his pimpin' days. Oh, and he pulled that on the captain. Let's go ahead and have a look. And now, oh, a double tag, double team effort on Fritzy. Oh, and that, didn't, that friendship didn't last long. Now Big Sid, oh, Big Sid with another Bitch Breaker. On the captain, goes for the pin. One, two. Three! Captain is pinned, and Big Sid is the winner. There he is, folks. Big Sid, Al Richardson's head wrestler, has been a uh, head wrestler from the beginning, actually. Uh, he was, he, he had a different name, and I, you know, it was so long ago, I don't even remember it, but uh, he did change it to Big Sid, more, more along his name. And here we go. We're getting ready. There he is, Zavu, and Big Sid. The cage is down, the hell in a cell, and here we go. Big Sid starting off early with a quick whip suplex. And picking him up again. Big Sid not wasting any time. Arm lift on Cell Bit Sabu. Oh, with a punch to the face. And now Sabu in for another suplex. Sabu just ragged off right now. He's uh he's basically Big Sid's bitch. Big Sid taunting. Taunting Sabu. Say you're a world champion, give me a fucking break. And oh, big fist to the head. The double sledgehammer move of some sort, I think they call that, maybe. Uh, sledgehammer is now the patented trademark of concrete. And after working on the shoulder, goes for a stomp and misses. Sabu up. Oh, Sabu with an elbow to the head. And now, a belly-to-belly -belly suplex of his own. And stomping on the leg. Sabu now pick and mix it up. Big Sid slapping away. Oh, punch to the ribs. And now, has Sabu up. Oh, and a body slam there, dragging the feet down the turnbuckle. That'll get your heels a-poppin'. <laughs> get your heels a-poppin'. Sounds like a Dr. Scholl's ad. Bounces oh, well, over the rope. Over the rope. And so he doesn't get punched. He comes right back in there. Sabu with a fist of Big Sid. And a body slam there. 
So far, not the cage, not, a, not even an element. These two just want to go at it. So, an elbow by Big Sid. Oh, elbow with a clothesline. Elbow, elbow with a clothesline. It's a Big Sid with a clothesline. The elbow, elbow, I don't know who elbow is. But now, Big Sid going out. Big Sid, what's, what's Big Sid got planned? Oh, he's going underneath for a baseball bat. And just hits Sabu right on the head and knocks him out. And a, yeah, I thought he knocked him out, but now it's just, oh, just going a, a bitch beatdown is what this is. He said, bitch, where am my money at? So, but Sabu comes right back somehow. Maybe he's too stupid to know that he was getting beaten up. Yeah, he's taking elbows to Sab or to a little bit of Big Sid. Now picks Big Sid up and sends him to the ropes, bouncing off. Oh, nothing happened there. They have a tendency to do that. Now Sabu going to the turnbuckle. Big Sid. Oh, Big Sid setting him up for something. What's this going to be? Oh, a punch to the back of the head. Oh, big suplex off the second rope. Wow. And Big Sid just stands there. Says, look at me. I'm beating up your world champion audience. Go fuck yourself. And after stomping. Oh, so Sabu blocks the fist. And punches Big Sid. Somebody's cooking something. It smells good. Sabu. Oh, Sabu dropping a knee on... Or dro dropping Big Sid on the knee, I should say. Now with a headlock. Oh, rolls Big Sid over. Sabu starting to starting to feel his oats. Gets Big Sid in a lock. And he got the elbows. One, two, and a three. Three, three times the charm. Now. Sabu picking Big Sid up. Oh, another <laughs> punch to the face. Those huge fists. Oh, oh my. It is the Empire Driver. I remembered it. Yay, I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh-oh. But he's got another he's got another move in mind, apparently. Oh, kicking Big Sid. Bouncing him off the ropes. Oh, here's the one. The Liberty Bomb. You know it, you love it. And he's going for the pin. Big Sid is pinned. One, two. Oh, no. Big says you Big Sid says you might be able to take El Loco's title with that shit, but you don't bring it here. He says that while laying on his back, natural. Oh, Sabu's now. Oh, Sabu with a baseball back to the gut. Good God almighty. Now picking Big Sid up. He's got to be hurting. Oh, Big Sid somehow gets the muscular fortitude to backflip and goes for a pin. I don't think this is a up, folks. No. <laughs> Not at all. Big Sid just trying to get some momentum, I think. And Sabu taking a nap. Uh-oh, Big Sid not paying attention. Sabu's coming up. Oh, finally turns around. Oh, Sabu with a, a rollover flip there. Now, getting Big Sid up again. What's he got planned for him? Oh, just a regular good old-fashioned body slam. And goes for the pin. Rests out of place, but comes around one. Two, uh, doesn't even get two. Big Sid kicks out. And now, working on the clavicle. That collarbone, trying to bust that up, or at least bruise it. Once that thing's broken, you can't lift an arm. Oh, going for the baseball bat again. Oh, my God, what a hit. Did he hit him in the sack? Or maybe the maybe the gut, it could have been. It's hard to tell from the angle. Big Sid, no, no, he wouldn't hit in the sack. He wouldn't be moving around like that. And a leg drop on Sabu. Now, Big Sid. Big Sid. Oh, punch to the face. And now, uh-oh, here it is. The bitch breaker. Will he have enough energy taken away from him? I don't know. Goes for the pin. One, two... Three! Big Sid is, in fact, the winner and the master of the chain links. Let's have a look at it again. Even though the cage didn't really take any effect in this one, but uh, it's a hell of a battle. Sabu there with just big fists. I don't know. <laughs> I guess it was okay. But here, here is the Empire Driver. Oh, bouncing right off the mat with that head. And then, of course, the Liberty, Liberty Bomb. That's right. And went for the pin there. I'm surprised he didn't get it. That, it's after two signature moves there, Big Sid was one, two. And somehow, just able to get that shoulder up at the last second. And now, body slam. Just a good old-fashioned wrestling move there. Still working on Big Sid. And then went for the pin again. Now, here's what, here what the problem, folks. The referee had to run around. He's out of place. By the time he finally got to him, it was one. And, uh, well, I guess he had enough time to kick out anyway. But here was the bitch breaker right on the back of the head. Back of the head again on the other side. And uh, that'll do it, folks. Big Sid has made. Wow, that was interesting. <laughs> that was flashing. 
They got the cage up. Big Sid has uh, beaten Sabu here inside the Hell in a Cell. Little war out there, but still a champion for the moment for the cage. And uh, maybe somebody will be able to challenge him sometime. But for now, we're going to be moving on to our final match, which is the Women's Championship First Ladies match tonight. Should be a good one. Stick around. This is the Animal Network reminding you all to wear a condom, and we'll be right back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Coming to you from sunny Fresno, California, the almost the home city of Morning Glory Hall, who we're going to be seeing here very shortly. This is going to be the Women's Championship match. Big Bertha versus Morning Glory Hall. And there she is. Isn't she lovely, folks? It's just a shame she has so many social diseases. But she's coming down with Aaron Farhola. She's come down with more than that. I'm surprised she hasn't come down with leprosy with the way she goes. <laughs> Popping bubbles left and right. And uh, here comes Aaron right behind her. And we saw Morning Glory Hall this past week on Crude with the table match. She was fighting Kathleen Dynamite and uh, pulled a powerbomb on Kathleen for her first ever win here in the HWA. And I'm going to just take my time while I watch that. Oh, my God. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm not. I, I say I'm sorry, but I'm really not. Let's have a look at her, her, her match. Glory Hall coming back. Glory Hall now trying to set her up. Uh-oh. We have a powerbomb here. She could do it right here. Oh, through the table, we have a winner. Morning Glory Hall finally wins a match in dramatic style. And there she is, Morning Glory Hall. I almost said, let's have a look at her snatch, but I think we already saw that. <laughs> so, getting ready. The women's champion now coming down. And uh, there she is, folks. Big Bertha. And uh, we saw her in action, actually. This uh and she's accompanied by Al Richardson, by the way. Forgot to say. Looking sharp in his uh, three-piece suit. And let's see. What, 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 yeah, Big Bertha this past week on Crew, right? Yeah, oh, yes. And uh, we saw her in the uh, just an exhibition match. But it was uh, she got the ritual by Satanic of Bloodlust. And uh, just to prove she's not invincible, uh, let's go ahead and have a look at that. Here it is again. The second ritual. And boom! Down she goes. Oh, my folks, is she going to be able to get up after this? Coach Al, again, causing problems, but uh, she can't go for the pin. She's, she needs to catch her breath right now. Finally, Dragon Bertha out. And the pin, finally. Is it too late? One, two, three. <laughs> after taking a pounding, Big Bertha loses. So there she is, folks. The champion for the women. The women's champion, however you want to say it, there's the belt. The HWA Women's Championship, uh, soon to be joined by the Women's Tag Team Championship. We'll talk about that very shortly. But here we go. There she is. Morning Glory Hall. So pretty. And there she is, the ruthless Big Bertha. It's time to get it on. And I do want to point out that this match is uh, its typically... No disqualification for championship matches, but uh, because of the fact that the men are out there and the women, the, there's some sort of mixed gender role that uh, we have to have allowed disqualifications in case the managers get too uh, too problematic. And we're going to have to see. We'll have to go to a judgment call after that. But uh, regardless, the HWA uh, board of directors has a, ch has a chance, even if she's disqualified, to pass the belt over. So with en enough of that bureaucracy... <laughs> we got Big Bertha whipping Morning Glory Hole, now stomping on her. And picks her up again. Glory Hole, ready to go off the ropes here. Oh, so Big Bertha went for a, it's a, a drop kick and kind of missed somehow. But Glory Hole now whipping Bertha to the mat. Standing on, oh, stomping on that big titty. Now, oh, she's going for a submission move early. Ah, the, the rack. I don't know why she would do this. Maybe just to soften her up a little bit. I might be having too much of that weight on you, though. That's that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt your knees as well. But uh, she's out of it, and now she's whipping uh, Glory Hall. Whips uh, Bertha. Oh, Bertha with a punch saves herself from going outside the ring. And now, oh, dropping her right on the right on the knee with her back, picking Glory Hall up again. Now, Bertha 
Oh, Bertha with a bulldog. She looks like a bulldog too, folks. So, picking Glory Hole up again. And whip under the ropes. Goes over the ropes. Oh, gets a ram to her. And uh, Al, Al Richardson's, he's laying back a little bit. I thought he was going to move in there and try to do something. Oh, no, he does. Picks Glory Hole up. And uh, just seems to help her out. Oh, taking Big Bertha right off the off the barricade. And driving her into the barricade in her back. Oh. Now, guys, picked her up again. Oh, just a fist, a little tiny fist, but they seem effective. And now, oh, she said she stole a page from uh, <laughs> from Big Sid's book. And now, he's saying, you can't do that. That's a patented move. What the hell's wrong with you? I'm going to sue you. But now he <laughs> stomps on her head. And, uh. Let's her back up again. Let's her back in. I don't know if they were actually discussing the legality of that, but uh, Coach Richardson has a, a, a time to be vocal. Now. What the, oh, a rollover. Bertha with a one. Doe kicks out. I thought she was going for a suplex, but Bertha took advantage there and gave her a quick pin opportunity. Bertha now setting. Glory hole up. Sets her up for a oh, flying arm drag. <laughs> Just a big boot to the face. Bertha now on the second rope. Going for the splash. Oh, my God. That tons of fun right on top of her. Flattened her implants, everything. Now just bouncing her head off the mat. Brutal, brutal wrestling here, folks. Now, Bertha has Glory Hole up again. Glory Hole slaps away with a punch to the, to the side. And now picks her up. Oh, but I got a reversal here. Oh, backward DDT. Glory Hole not, not doing so well here. This is a chance for a championship, but she's getting stomped right now. And now, oh, kicks Bertha away. Stands up quickly. She's got to try. You got to move quicker than that if you want to get move. What? She was going off the ropes, which did something else. Oh, just going to kick her in the back. Okay. So, Aaron Varhola, happy that uh, his wrestlers are in control, slams her right to the turnbuckle. Glory Hole now. What she got in mind? Sends her over. Oh, oh, no, I thought she was going for something big, but she's going to go for a roundabout there. And just send him Bertha right across the ring with those legs around her neck. Uh, I'd make a comment there, but you know what I'd say. Uh-oh, here it is. The flying fuck. I mean, she got it. She nailed her. Oh, here comes Richardson. And now, oh, the distraction flips her around. And it's well, so much back and forth there. Uh oh, she has her in the reach around. She's trying to get her to submit. Is Bertha going to quit? I don't know, folks. She's she's trying hard. She's trying hard. And the, yo, she says, says break the, break the move. You can't have it. She didn't submit. So she goes for a pin. And Al again causing the interference. Man, glory hole up while he's arguing with the ref. Oh, goes for a, a splash. She can't get it. Bertha moves out of the way. Bertha oh, stomping right in the back of her head. Now Bertha. Oh, spending a leg drop. Bertha in control, thanks to her, her interfering, co ever interfering coach, I should say. And we have a suplex coming up. Oh, here, no, here it is. Oh, Bertha with the. I forget the move. I'm sorry, Bertha. She spins her over. This could be it, folks. This could be it. What, is, what was Bertha's move? Oh, no, she's just going to, to work the arm wall. That gives me a chance to look this up. Oh, that was the. Uh, is that the. the, the Yo, that was the Bertha Blitz. Yes, we don't see that too often. No wonder I don't know the name of it. But uh, Bertha in control now, still. Dragging her out. And goes for the pin. One. Two. Oh. Glory Hole kicking out. And. I'm hearing. Oh. oh I heard water running. I didn't know where it was coming from. Oh, sorry. We've had flooding problems, so I want to be uh, abreast of that. Right now, Bertha just choking her with the legs. And huge legs wrapped around her head. She can't hear anything because it sounds like it sounds like the ocean to her right now. And she finally gets Bertha with a whip. Bertha now against the turnbuckle. And she might be going for something else here. Oh, gets Bertha up. How does she get her up like that? Those skinny little arms. And now, oh, take an arm drag right across the ring. Glory Hill now with Bertha. And. Bertha trying to reverse. No, no. She'll go right to the turnbuckle. And what she got for her? Setting her up for something here. 
you can tell she's running out of energy. Just punches her to the back, the head. Oh, huge suplex right off the top row, second rope. Now Bertha, who's I don't even know who's who has more energy. Bertha's block. Now gets rolled over. Quick rollover by Glory Hole. And Glory Hole grabbing Bertha, trying to do something. She's dragging her around. Bertha just going along for the ride, and a neck roll. <laughs> a neck roll. She got more of those. Oh, big drop kick to the back of the head. Glory Hole wants the wants the women's title. You can tell she's fighting for her life. She goes for the pin. I don't know. One, two. Now Bertha kicks out. She's going to have to dig deeper into her repertoire if she wants to win for Big Bertha. So, catching her breath, Bertha's still down. Finally picked her up. And Bertha, going to the turnbuckle again. It's hard. See her bounce off of that. And now, she's going. Up, oh, gets up again. Is she going to take her for another spin? Woo, there she goes across the ring again. That'll take the wind out of you sometimes. And Al's causing problems again. He's saying, hey, come on. What are you doing? How about you go out with me, huh? How about we go out for dinner? And Bertha's just standing there waiting, waiting to punch her in the back. If she does. And, oh, a drop right on the knee. It's hard to <laughs> it's hard to beat a champion when the ref keeps, or when the coach keeps interfering. Bertha wasted time showing off. Tells Glory Hole to get up. Says, get up. Glory Hole's just laying there. Let's take her time, I guess. And crawling to the rope. Slowly getting up. I don't know. Is she playing possum? Oh, there's I said that word again. Now settle down, Rufus. You already ate. And, oh, suplex there. And stomping on the arm. There's little skinny twigs of an arm that somehow she just makes them work. And Bertha's getting set for something here. Gets her up. Oh, here it comes, folks. Here it comes. Oh, there it is, Big Bertha with the uh, the Bertha Blitz once again. The pin, one, two. Oh, kicks out. Amazingly, she kicks out again after her second Bertha Blitz. Bertha has something else for her in mind for her. Just kind of kicks her out of the way as she's walking around. Get that skinny white legs out of my, my way, bitch. And stomping on the thigh. Picks her up again. She is just out of juice, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how she's even standing. I think because Bertha's holding her. Once again, the Bertha Blitz, the third time in a row. This has got to be it, folks. This has got to be it. She doesn't go for the pin. Just picks her up again. Whips her head to the mat. I think that, I think she's done, folks. And Bertha's in position again. Unless she can do a quick turnaround here and get momentum back in her direction. Oh, no. Not again. Come on. Come on, enough is enough. The Bertha Blitz four times. Boom. There it is. As she she drags her out to the ring. I think she's going for the pin. I just there can't be anything left of this little kid. There can't be. One. Two. Oh, she kicks out again! I can't believe it, folks. I cannot believe the the veracity of this this little blonde from LA. And now she's got her stretching a submission move. They're grinding the knee against the back. And pulling the arms back. And again, she might submit, folks. She might just give up. No. Nope. No, nope, she's she's trying to find her strength. Rips it apart. Finally, an elbow to Big Bertha. She's, she got to move quick, folks. And, oh, she gets her in the, in the reach around here. Big Bertha, I think she's got a lot of energy, but we'll see. She's stretching her, folks. Stretching that big gut across. You can show a movie on that thing. And... Uh, she has to break the move, but Big Bertha took a huge hit there in, in strength, I think. And now a kick to the back. <laughs> this is another good match, folks. I'm, I'm excited to see who wins here. Oh, Big Bertha with a reversal. Oh, but <laughs> Gloriol just bodies just uh, lays her out there and goes for the pin. I don't think this is going to be anything, folks. One, two, three! What the hell happened? Oh, my God! Morning Glory Hole is the winner! I can't believe it. Look at this. Look at this again. Oh, that, that reach around must have really took more out of her than we thought. There she was just punching, laying, setting her up. And, of course, there's the flying fuck. That's always a killer move on you. Oh, laying it straight across, though. Uh, landing on a big girl like Bertha. It's, oh, this, this was one of the four Bertha blitzes that she took during this match. That's probably the second or maybe third. I don't even know. But uh, 
The turning point of the match. And there's a third one. Oh, my God. And she kept getting up every time. She kept kicking out. And amazingly, she just she just did it. She won. Aaron, Aaron lost... His, uh, his his world championship title from Maloko, but now he's got a woman's champion. So uh, it's just coming up roses for for managers and wrestlers everywhere. There she is, the new champion of women's horseman title, Morning Glory Hall. Good for you, darling. You earned it. After f- four Bertha bombs, it's like a you think a Jaeger bomb. It's four of those would knock you on your ass. Four Bertha bombs, forget about it. Huh. But that's it, folks. That is this edition of Crude. Thank you for joining us, as always. And uh, we're going to go ahead, since I know the the upcoming matches uh, for the next beatdown, let's go ahead and give you that menu real quick here. She's just going to pose and look pretty while I do this. Uh, we have another newcomers match. We're going to have, actually, four new wrestlers being introduced on beatdown this week. The newcomers match is going to be uh, Boofu the Clown versus the Gimp. <laughs> and, uh, oh, I do want to point out that in the newcomers match, it's always going to be teammates... Well, I, I lied. It's going to be teammates like you had uh, Rufus and F- Fuzz Pigman. Those are the teammates for the uh, for the tag team championship whenever they get their turn. And uh, that's it's just it's it's a rite of passage. That's really what they got to do. And the same holds true for Boo for the Clown and the Gimp. They're going to be a team, and but they got to go at each other first to prove their worth. And after that, we're going to have the Extreme Rules match between Big Sid and the Captain. There's going to be baseball bats of swinging in that match, I can guarantee you. After that, we have the brand new Women's Tag Team Championship with Evil Incorporated, which has Satanica and a new wrestler, which is Charlotte Webb. And uh, they're going to be going up against the Californicators, who happens to be the one you see right there, uh, Morning Glory Hole, and Buffy Trust Fund, or M- Muffy Trust Fund, sorry. And uh, so she made up two belts after this thir- uh, this Wednesday. And uh, after that, we're going to have a ladder match. <laughs> and no, Concrete isn't in it. He's too good at him. It's uh, going to be El Loco versus Paige Rex. And lastly, we have the Inner Horseman Championship match between Fritzy and Nature. Nature looking to get some more of that HWA gold. And that's going to do it for me, folks. Signing off here and uh, thanking you for joining us once again. This is the Anal Network. Looking forward to seeing you on Beatdown. Have a great time, and uh, remember, always wear a condom.